This is Matthew Gale here with CountyLifeOnline.com. The Grape One Sandys fell to the Alto Yellow Jackets tonight, 36 to 12. Uh, I'm standing here with Grape One Sandys head coach Jerry Richards. Um, coach Richards, this, the final score is definitely not reflective of the game. Uh, how do you feel like the boys played in, the, in you know, throughout the game? Well, we, we played exceptionally good defense. You know, we played great defense last week, and they came out and, and played another good defensive game. Uh, the touchdowns that they had were basically long runs. You know, it was just a, a, a misread or a couple t on the first half there, a couple of misreads and, mm -hmm. and gave them a long run for a touchdown. Uh, and the other ones, you know, they really didn't drive the ball on us. So, you know, we played good defense most of the time. It's just hard to get anything going against a strong team like that offensively, you know. Uh, well, you got to be able to run the ball north and south, and we had a hard time doing that. Yeah, like you said, a strong team, number 10 in the state. Uh, this is kind of a rivalry game. Um, was there anybody that really stood out in your mind that, that had a big game that, that usually doesn't get a lot of, you know, a lot of showtime. Well, you know, it, it, even a big ball game, and, and uh, I'm sure his confidence was down a little bit last week, but he came out and ran the ball good, and that was Jaquez's fault, a real freshman quarterback. Yeah. Jaquez has really got a lot of playing time uh, a lot recently. Uh, what are some of the reasons uh, you feel like he's, he's you know, worthy of that position as a freshman? Well, he's, he's real athletic, and, and he's, he's got a lot of confidence. Uh, whether it's on the football field or the basketball court, he, you know, he plays with confidence in, in whatever sport he plays. And, and we have confidence in him. But one thing, uh, the asset that he has is the quickness and everything. And that's, that's what we were looking to get out of that position where we can try to get uh, some of the other kids the ball on, on some passes or, or reverses and what have you. Next week you got Shelbyville on the road. Uh, what do you feel like y'all need to work on between now and then? Well, you know, going to Shelbyville, that's that's the biggest challenge right there, you know, and, and uh, we got up on them last, uh, last time we went to Shelbyville, got up on them uh, a couple of touchdowns, and they came back and got us there at the end. So, you know, it's always a tough task playing over there, but, you know, they're basically in the same boat we're in. they got to win the last two to get in the playoffs, and that's what we got to do. So it'll be a tough ball game. All right, well, I appreciate it, Coach. Good luck next week. All right, thank you.